Please like and subscribe for our channel growth. This is the bottom of the barrel Jimmy Kimmel uses pedophilia film in attempt to shame Pence on Oscars night. Sunday's 90th annual Academy Awards ceremony was chock full of politicization and japs at prominent conservatives. During the opening monologue, host Jimmy Kimmel made references to number Me Too and Time's Up 2 movements aimed at ending rampant sexual misconduct present in the entertainment industry. However, the host's preaching seemed somewhat hypocritical, especially when he hurled a poorly timed joke at Vice President Mike Pence. Of the nine Best Picture nominees, only two made more than $100 million. That's not the point, Kimmel said. We don't make films like Call Me By Your Name for Money. We make them to upset Mike Pence. The joke was widely panned on Twitter as being a pathetic admission of just how low liberal elites will sink in order to criticize the Trump administration. Alana Mastrangelo Heavy check mark At Air Mastrangelo Jimmy Kimmel says Hollywood makes films to upset Mike Pence. I can't decide what's more pathetic, making movies that nobody watches to get the Trump administration's attention, or admitting to it. 10.09 p.m., March 5, 2018. 1,904. 621 people are talking about this. Twitter adds info and privacy. However, the joke was more than just flat it was hypocritical. The film Kimmel referenced, Call Me By Your Name, centers around two gay individuals who engage in a sexual relationship with each other. It is no secret Kimmel's trajectory for the joke was aimed at Pence's devout Christian background and opposition to legalized gay marriage. However, Kimmel's joke was tone deaf at best the relationship featured in the movie would be considered illegal in areas of the United States as one boy is a 17-year-old minor while the other man is a 24-year-old adult. While the film is set in Italy, which has a different set of laws regarding sex with a minor, in parts of the United States the act would be considered illegal. The joke is even more painful to listen to when considering that Hollywood was rocked in 2017 after countless instances of sexual misconduct within the industry began surfacing. Because of this, the film received widespread criticism even before Kimmel's ill-timed joke. Actor Corey Feldman, an entertainer at the forefront of exposing pedophilia in Hollywood, responded on Twitter after being told the film did not include instances of child grooming.